Hello student, today I am going to start a new chapter that is distributed database design. The design of a distributed computer system involves making decision on the placement of data and program across the site of a computer network as well as possibly designing the network itself. In the case of distributed DBMS, the distribution of application involves two things. The distribution of the distributed DBMS software and the distribution of application program that run on it. Now, the organization of distribution system, distributor system can be investigated along three orthogonal dimensions. Number one, the first point is level of sharing. The second point is behavior of access pattern. And the third one is level of knowledge on access pattern behavior. From this figure, we explain how these three points are working. Access pattern on x-axis, level of knowledge on y-axis and sharing on z-axis. From this figure, it depicts the alternative along three dimensions. In terms of the level of sharing, there are three possibilities. First, there is no sharing. Each application and its data execute at one site. And there is no communication with any other programs or access to any data files on that on other sites. This characterized the very early days of networking and is probably not very common today. We then find the level of data sharing. All the programs are replicated at all the sites, but data files are not. All the programs are replicated at all sites, but data files are not. Accordingly, user requests are handled at the site where they or originate and the necessary data files are moved around the network. Finally, in data plus program sharing, both the data and program may be shared, meaning that a program at a given site can be requested at a service from another program at a second site, which in turn may have to access a data files located at a third site. In this way it works. Now, along the second dimension of access pattern behavior, it is possible to identify two alternatives. The access pattern of user request may be static so that they do not change over time or dynamic. It is obviously considerable, considerably easier to plan for and manage the static environment and then would be case for dynamic distributed system. Unfortunately, it is difficult to find many real life distributed application that would be classified as static. Now the last one, the third dimension of classification is the level of knowledge about the access pattern behavior. One possibility of course is that the designer do not have any information about how user will access the database. This is theoretically possibility critical possibility but it is very difficult if not impossible to design a distributed DBMS that 
can effectively cope with this situation the more practical alternative are that the designer have complete information where the access pattern can reasonably be predicted now alternative design strategies the two ma major strategies that have been identified for the designer distributed de database are top down approach and bottom or the bottom up approach here are the two major strategies that have been identified for designing distributed de database are the top down approach and the bottom up approach in this way we can design now the first one is top down design process this diagram show how top design work a framework for this process which is given here the activity begin with a requirement analysis that define the environment of the system systems and the data and processing need all the potential database user the requirement study also specifies where the final system is expected to stand with respect to the objective of a distributed dbms the requirement documents is input to parallel activities in in this figure you can see how it work the requirement documents is input to parallel activities the first one is view design and the second one is conceptual design the view design activity deals with defining the interface for end user the conceptual design on the other hand is the process by which the enterprise is ex examined to determine entity type and the relationship among these entities one can possibly divide this process into two related activity group entity analysis and functional analysis functional analysis here the entity analysis is concerned with determining determining the entities their attributes and the relationship among them functional analysis on the other hand is concerned with determining the function uh, determining the fundamental function with which the modeled enterprise is involved the result of these two steps need to be cross reference to get a better understanding of which function deal with which entities there is a relationship between the conceptual design and the view design in one sense the conceptual design can interpreted as being an integration of a user view even though this view integration activity is very important now the conceptual models should support should support not only the existing application but also the future application view integrations should be used to ensure that the entity and the relationship requirement for all the views are covered in the conceptual schema the global conceptual schema in the in that figure which is gcs and the access pattern information collected as a result of the view designing design are in are input to the distribution design step the objective at this stage which is uh, the objective of this stage is to design the local conceptual schema by distri distributing the entities over the sites of the distributed system now 
the last step in the design process is the physical design is the physical design which map the local conceptual schema to the physical storage devices available at the corresponding site the input at this process are the local conceptual schema and the access pattern in pattern information about the fragment in this so these uh, are the work how top down design working now the second one is bottom up design process top down design is suitable approach when a database system is being designed from scratches scratch commonly however a number of database already exist and the design task involve integrating them into one database the bottom up approach is suitable for this type of involvement this type of involvement the starting point of bottom up design is the individual local conceptual schema the process consists of integrating local schema into the global conceptual schema this type of involvement exists primarily in the context of heterogeneous database i hope you all understand thank you for watching my video lecture thank you